In this video, we are going to explain what is MVC. As a back-end developer, before you start any application, the first question that comes to your mind is what kind of design pattern you're going to use in your project? Because we have different developers working on the different features of your application. So how can this team correlate to make the application happen. First, you need to make sure you are using a particular design pattern. And the most popular one is what you call MVC. So in this video, we are going to explain and explore what is MVC. So M stands for model, V stands for view, and C stands for controller. Okay, so let's get going. Good. So the first question comes into mind, what is model? So models mix up your data structure. The kind of data you want to handle is what is called model. So model contains your database logic in your application. So for example, in your application, for example, you need to handle three things. One is what the user right another one is called post and then other one is called comments so let's take the user as the first model okay so before you create a user you ask yourself what do i need okay now i need an arm so hand will be my word one property of my model i need an eye so an eye will be what a property of the user i need leg of the user to be added so I also keep track of the leg of the user and then the head and the color okay so all these properties mix up the user so anytime somebody want to create a user in your application the person need to provide all these properties of your model of the user right so the next one is what you call the controller right so assuming that this person this model is this so controller contains your business logic of your application so after you finish creating your model then you ask yourself what action can i take for my model to perform so you can see that for the user we want the user to what to walk you want the user to read a book or i, I can delete this user right so it based on this controller your business logic that will make these things happen right so controller contains your business logic so you need a model first before you can perform all this operation on the uh, model so in english we can regard the user as a noun okay now and then the controller is going to be the action okay it's taking action based on your model all right so the last one is going to be the view the view is the graphical representation of your project so what the end user sees is what you call the view right this is what they are viewing so it means that the views is a response of what the model plus controller will give you the view. So this view can be whether the error or success based on your request. Okay, so let's break that into details of what you mean. All right, so let's take this diagram as the MVC, our MVC. So the model contains a database logic, like I said, for that person. You know, if you want to keep track of hand, of um, leg, or whatever, is handled under the model. So all your database logic must be done inside your model. And then the controller contains your business logic, right? Your, sorry, your business logic, the controller. So here, you have to implement that, okay, I want my user to work, right? Is that here? 
and then the view like i said is what the representational view of your project so let's see how these things work together well let's look at the relationship the relationship here is that controller sorry the controller depends on the model so before you implement any business logic first of all you need to talk to your model that hey model i want this user that you have defined in your model to walk or to read or i want to delete or i want to update so before you implement that first of all our controller will talk to the model instance and then the model also sent a request to mongodb that hey mongodb this application using this controller say that hey you want to delete this user or update then the response of mongodb will now send to the model if it was success or an error then the model will send the request back to the controller then the controller responsibility is also to send to the view that okay now what you want um the model said that is not successful or an error therefore you see it on your screen if it is a error or success controller just like a transporter okay a transporter so this model always gives two things whether error or the success of your request so if it's a success it will give back a response to the controller and controller will send to the view if it's an error the same thing will send back to the controller controller will send to the view so as you can see that model model and view have no relationship but model and controller have some relationship likewise view and controller has what relationship so this is a flow of what is called mvc